Hey there, it's Dirty Girl, and I'm here with a haul, vintage haul video from the flea market. Uh, I still don't have a tripod that works properly, so I'm just uh, winging it here. You're not going to see my beautiful shiny face, uh, but that's good because I didn't put any makeup on today, so you probably don't want to see it. Um, so the first thing I want to do is update you on a couple of items. I took some things to be appraised. Uh, this guy is a cast iron lion bank and there are many 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 reproductions of this bank or one very similar to it and uh, I was hoping it might be real and as it turns out it is. Um, the, the guy said it's absolutely genuine from uh, the late 19 teens to the early 1920s and um, still got a lot of its original gilt on it. He took it apart and looked at the inside and everything and he said it was worth between three and four hundred dollars. Now I'm a little skeptical about that. Um, on eBay I've, I have not seen them, I see people asking that much but I haven't seen anything selling for that much. So, uh, but I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. I'll probably put it up on eBay and start it out at $2.99 and see if anything happens. Uh, but anyway, He's a real cute little guy. He's got, well, anyway, I don't know what he's got, but he's old. This is another story. This is unfortunately a reproduction. He said the, uh, the tail was in the tail. He could tell by that, the way it was constructed, that it was a reproduction of, a, of an antiquity. But it's still kind of cool. And as a decorative object, it's worth maybe 15 to $20. And I paid paid I think I paid eight dollars for him so and I think I paid either five or maybe ten dollars for the lion so that's cool Then I have a couple of thrift store things to show you I bought a snapback hat had to give it a try I just happened to see this one and I thought oh um, Chicago White Sox that should be a good one it's also never been worn although the tag is peeling off but it is clean and nice after I got the dust off it and I bought that. That cost a dollar. And then I got this little basket, which was two dollars. And um, I haven't really researched that yet, but it's a nice, very nicely woven basket. And then I got this uh, granite ware old plate for 25 cents, if you can believe that, that any store would sell something for 25 cents. But there you have it. And um, that will sell for about probably fifteen dollars and, uh, and then I'm going to move on to the flea market items I'm going to do the um, oh I just noticed my fingernails are filthy because I was pulling weeds I'm so sorry that's really disgusting um, so uh, this is a necklace that I bought for three dollars it is not marked but I, there's a good chance that it's sterling silver I'll have to test it but I thought it was really pretty anyway for three dollars. It's got a really nice chain on it. Uh, I got this Noah's Ark brooch for I think about three dollars. I bought some of this was in a lot so I'm just estimating really what the price was. And this is a um, JJ or Jonette jewelry. Uh, I'm not used to using this camera this way so I don't know whether it's going to focus or not. There you go. Uh, JJ. Very collectible stuff. I s have seen this brooch in pewter. I haven't seen it in gold. But that's one of her popular themes was Noah's Ark. She does a lot of animals. And um, so that'll sell for probably 15 to $20. I got this little Mexican silver bug. It's abalone. Thought he was really cute. And he was about $4. I don't know that he's sterling or not, but he's cute. I'll have to test him. And then this is a sterling silver bracelet with pink enamel. I thought that was a fun color. The little inset daisy is made in Mexico. It's got a mark on it right there, but um, it's really faint. I can't read it, but it is marked um, 925 right there. <laughs> and that was $7. And I got this Thunderbird 
Native American made uh, tie clip with a turquoise. Um, I believe that the little Thunderbird is sterling silver, although he's not marked, so I'll have to test him. But uh, he cost 50 cents or less. Uh, I got this enamel flower um, brooch from the 60s or 70s. It's um, You mostly see uh, daisies and things like that in this style. I haven't seen this. It's kind of like a thistle or something. But I thought it was a, a cute one. It's in really good condition. And it was a dollar or less. Um, now we move on to the er, expensive jewelry. I thought this was an awesome sterling silver. And um, I don't know whether it's really skillfully inlaid onyx or enamel. I've got to look more closely at it. I'm hoping it's onyx. But I just love how it's made. It's so interesting. And that one was $15. It's pretty heavy. And this is... Um, I believe this is a Zuni piece. It may be Navajo. Uh, it does have some marks on it that I'm going to research. Um, it may also be that mark in it might be from a pawn shop, so I might be able to refer to this as Old Pawn, which is kind of fun. Uh, anyway, it's got those marks. I don't know if you can see them. But it says Sunburst, and then it has a B. And that I've seen that bee before. Um, oh, I can't think of her name. But anyway, um, and then I got this wonderful, huge Navajo men's ring with these two onyx, and it's got some marks on it, so that should be interesting. And this this one was fifteen. This one was twenty because it's got it's heavy. And then I got this little. Uh, turquoise ring for um, five dollars. Just a little tiny ring. But I th thought it was kind of a cute design. And then this is another really pretty turquoise ring. Um, I paid up on this one. I paid 20 bucks for this one. So I just love the design of it. I just thought it was so pretty and so nicely made. And it's also a nice quality piece of turquoise. So uh, I won't make a huge profit on that. I'm probably going to ask, oh, $38 maybe for it. And that's it for the jewelry. Um, I did get this awesome belt buckle. It's uh, enamel Art Nouveau. I don't know yet whether it's real Art Nouveau or a 1970s um, you know, reproduction type piece, but, and it does have some damage around the edges, but I just couldn't resist it. It was only $3, and um, it is signed, but I have, I think that's either lesser or leaser, Jean. Um, could not find anything. I thought for sure that was going to be an awesome signed piece, but no information on that person. <laughs> I got this little toy. It's kind of like a harmonica. It's called a Key Monica Prol Toys. And it's got, you know, patent numbers and stuff that I can look up. It's probably from the 1960s, made in USA. It was on a dollar table. It does work. Um, in case you're worried, I did not put my mouth on it. I haven't cleaned it yet. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Oh, I got another um, sharpening stone. Oops, this one is kind of neat because it's got this patent August 05. That would be 1905. Uh, Strop Back Hone, and it's the American Hone Company from Olean, New York. So um, I have not uh, done the research on that, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I can sell that for at least $30. I paid $10 for it. I got this piece of Medina glass. It's a paperweight. The prices on these are all over the place. I saw some Medina glass selling for $2.99, and I saw some selling for, you know, over $100. This one is signed, and it has a number on it, which I would tend to think would be a good thing. But I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I paid... Um, what did I pay for this? 
five dollars I think I paid five dollars for it so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna price that high because I just think it's gorgeous uh, I got this uh, straight razor Geneva Cutler Cutlery Company Geneva USA it's probably uh, early 20th century but the neat thing about it is it has never been used it is just mint condition absolutely gorgeous now this brand it's not like that one I sold on my last uh, sales result video it's, which was a highly desirable brand Sheffield steel and all that but um, yeah these I saw these selling on eBay for like 15 to 20 dollars and I paid 15 for it but none of them were like in this condition so you know I'm thinking I don't know what I can get for it but I'm thinking I'll make a little profit I got this tooled leather eyeglasses case from Mexico and the neat thing about this is it has never been used it is like new probably from the 1960s not sure what I can get for that but it, that was a dollar so this I went a little crazy and paid $18 for it. The price she had on this was $35. And this was one of the dealers that I buy things from quite often. She's, she has lovely, lovely things. They're often expensive, but I usually do well when I sell her things. And she had this at $35, and I was looking at it, and uh, she was like, oh, you know, I'll give that to you for $30. And I, I was like, oh, you know, I, I don't even... I reached in my pocket and I, I didn't have much money left and I said no I don't have enough money left she goes how much do you have and I told her I had $18 thinking there was no way she'd sell it to me for that with a starting price of 35 but she did so I got it for 18 and then I thought did I really want to pay 18 for that but it is nice I'll make I again not a huge profit um, I got this uh, these a set as you can see of five there probably were originally six of these German um, steins or mugs, hand painted. They're really beautiful. They're not marked. And I, I found one set of them on eBay that had sold for like the, a set of six for something like $15. I thought, that's insane. They're hand painted. They're old. They're really nice. They're in great condition. Um, yeah. So that was, I had, I had some. A lot of odd things this month that are, that I was surprised they weren't selling for more. But anyway, um, this is a perfume bottle that I paid five dollars for. It's just um, really lovely glass. Don't think it's marked or anything, um, but it's nice because it's this is still soft. Probably from the 1960s, 1970s, maybe. Um, these kind of things sell for a lot of, of prices just all over the board, so I'm not quite sure what I'll ask for that yet. And I got this, these snake things. <laughs> I sold one of these before. This is new old stock. It's from the 1960s or 1970s. They can be used as a necklace or a belt. They have this little, it, it's like the snake that bites its own tail. And I have a a long a belt one and a bracelet one in silver one has red eyes and one has green eyes and then I also got gold ones I got a um, necklace a bracelet and then also a little pair of earrings that came <laughs> isn't that cute and I got all of these for five dollars and this is another purchase that I was not too happy when I researched it. I should be researching these things on the spot, but it takes so long and I get lazy. I paid $15 for this, and it seems to be about what it's selling for. Although mine is in really, really good condition, other than a couple of loose threads on the... Anyway... It's like a 1960s toy accordion. It works really well. And, uh, I don't know, I'm going to try to get more for it. I mean, I, I saw some of them sold for more than $15. There were some that were selling for $25, $30. Uh, 
Um, I think if I put it on Etsy, I'll get a little bit more. And I got this leather-bound book, which is Sociology, Elements of Sociology, Volume 2-2 by Herbert Spencer. Now I thought that this might be something really special because it's an author's edition and it's a limited edition to 1,000 copies, number 313. And I thought that it might be rare, but as it turns out, it's really not. Um, I think based on decorative value alone, it's worth about $30. I'm hoping to get a little more than that for it. Um, and I paid 10 for it. And then the last thing is I got this uh, jewelry book for myself. Somebody was selling a whole bunch of collecting books for $2 a piece, so I thought that was, and it's not that old, I mean, it's, well, it's kind of old, it's like from 2008, I think, um, but anyway, gosh, I'm going to have a lot of fun looking through that, so um, that's it, that is my haul, thanks for watching, these things will soon be for sale, either in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com, or on eBay, where my seller name is Kara Lennox. I will put the links in the description below. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already done so, and leave a comment. I love comments. I try to answer them all. Okay, that's it. I'll be back soon with another sales results video. Have a good one. Bye.